Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, this is our sixth episode of Kitchen Stories, and I have a special guest today, actually two, um, who are part of our graduating batch. I've got Gia and Pong, who are students of our Diploma in Culinary Arts and Technology Management. So they're quite busy today, but I was able to ask them to come squeeze in a couple, uh, half an hour to join us and discuss a couple things about being in business as a couple and even, you know, dealing with the food delivery business. And lastly, their newly renovated kitchen, because I know everyone is spending a lot of time at home and there's nothing, you know, we're all cooking and baking. And I'd love for all of you guys to get some tips on how to renovate your kitchen. So if I will just bring them in the virtual screen. Give me a few seconds. Hi guys, sorry you're Hi. mute. Hi. How are you? Oh, we're fine. Uh, well. Can't complain. Yeah. <laughs> well, I saw you um, just a few minutes ago and it was hectic in the kitchen. So thank you so much for taking the time to uh, chat with us. No problem. Uh, no problem. I, I think we have a few people that have joined in. We've got Sophia who's saying hello. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Where are you? Are you in... I don't she's know, where in, is she now? Um, she's in New Jersey. Okay, okay. Hi, so thank you for joining us. I don't know what time it is, but um, as usual, all your classmates are always very supportive of our fellow students. So, um, you know, it's nice to hear, Pong, that you have no complaints because yeah. a lot of, you kind of see what kind of people are during this pandemic. It's either you're a complainer or a very positive, you know, you just, take any challenge as a opportunity. Yeah. So what have you guys been busy with? Um, so far we've been thing? busy with the orders. Yeah. A lot of people are ordering our food, so that's good. So it, it seems like it's it's the rave right now. We have lasagna as our best seller. Yeah, well, a lot of Filipinos love Italian cuisine. So don't worry, you can keep moving. Don't worry, you can continue your prep. But. Um, I know this is not your first business. I I know you had a healthy one, which is focus on healthy food. I want to ask, yeah. how did you guys get in business together? How did you get in business together? Mm -hmm. um, for a healthy one, I actually have um, a gym coach friends and uh, nutritionist friends, and they wanted to start a meal plan business, but they didn't know anything about food, so they can't. Have they can't I think they did drop out. Hmm. We're just having a bit of technical issues, but let's wait for them to come back. You were just getting started, actually. Um, Hi guys, sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, I'm okay. You know what? This is all about the virtual world. Uh, it's never free of uh, glitches. But okay, let's go back to how you started 
um, healthy one and how you both got into business. So you were saying that you had friends that really didn't understand meal plan. Yeah, they, they knew about uh, being healthy because they were gym coaches and the other one's a nutritionist, but they didn't really know how to cook or anything about food. So we gave them a helping hand and eventually uh, we invested in the in healthy one and we're part of it now. We're the, we make the menus, we cook the food and we oversee the packaging of the food. Yeah, it's amazing because, you know, a lot of fitness trainers or if you get into weight loss programs or you read yeah. about it, it's like 80 to 90 percent nutrition. I don't know if that is the actual thing. It's what you put in your body that really does impact your your health or yeah, weight for some people. So how long has Healthy One been in business? Um, uh, it was our one year anniversary last April, but it really wasn't a nice anniversary because that was in the middle of the lockdown. yeah lockdown. It was ECQ, so we we really didn't have clients because we couldn't operate. We couldn't operate the kitchen. Yeah. We didn't, our employees uh couldn't uh go back here from the province, so we had to stop at that time. But yeah, we've been we've started again, and we've been operating for more than a year, yeah. right now. And you've migrated to um P or like you've started a new business called PG Diaries. What is it all about? Um, it's actually, we started it like as a joke, actually, because, uh, PG means in Tagalog, we patay gutong. So, okay. it was supposed to be about just food stuff we cook, like tasty stuff we cook. Yeah, but, but it ended up being... Eventually, one of our friends saw our, uh, first lasagna post and decided, hey, wait, hey, can you send that over? Then we were like, yeah, sure. And then that's, then how it, it, that's how it started. <laughs> that's how it started. So, so completely opposite to the healthy aspect. Um, yeah. You got the healthy and then the lasagna as well. Because yeah, actually, um, lasagna doesn't, it never yeah, um, most, of our, most of our dishes have so much cheese and so and much starch. butter. It's so decadent. It's kind of <laughs> not on the healthy part, but it's very tasty. Very tasty. I don't believe butter is bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> the French use it. So a couple of people have joined and I do want to greet them. Uh, Vanessa Garcia says, hi, Gia and Pong. What time is it there? Where is she? She's okay. in the States. Yeah. What's the time difference? Not sure. <laughs> yeah. uh, Chi Renyo saw hello from Singapore. Ah, that's hello. my tita. Hello. Oh, hello, tita. And then Chef Kerwin. Hi, Hi Chef. And Gia, we miss you guys. AM, AMDG. You know what? This Doing this show, I have learned more of these um, uh, acronyms. What is yeah. AMDG? What is uh, AMDG? Uh, AMDG means Admirer de Gloria. It's, uh, it's kind of like the thing we put on top of the uh, test papers in Ateneo. It means... Uh, what does it, uh, where they go? I don't know. I'm from Miriam. Basically, we put God above every, uh, all things in Ateneo. Okay. And AMDG just stands for that. We put AMDG in everything we do just to uh, infuse it with a little bit of the glory of God. Okay, that is a very good uh, acronym that I've learned today. Thank you, Chef Kerr. Um, <laughs> so for Vanessa at 7 p.m. here, thank you for joining us. And Sophia says, I PLDT. <laughs> okay, so um, my second question is, um, what is it like working together for the two of you? Um, at first, yeah, <laughs> at first it was actually hard. It was hard because he's very bossy. Uh, and <laughs> he's what know, bossy? Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of bossy in the kitchen because uh, there's a pace that I'd like to work in, but. Um, through the, like, uh, through the years we've worked together, it's, we basically sync up. Yeah, we like, have already. Uh, there are things that I can do better and there are things that she can do better. And we focus on that. We don't really mix our tasks because if we do, it's just gonna lead to an argument and no one wants that. <laughs> Yeah, I do say that people who get into business together as a couple, it's it's just as strong as getting married. Um, it really does test your uh, your challenges, like your relationship, your compatibility. But yeah, it's a long, long story. I think we passed like six hours discussing um, being in a relationship and in business. What do you have in front of you there right now? Because I know this- oh, uh, We're actually gonna plate lasagna. We have, lasagna. we have orders today. We have uh, two orders uh, for today. 
Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna plate them then after uh, before lunch. We're gonna ship them out. How many orders are you prepping today? Uh just two. Just two. It's it's a light day today. Yeah, but, it's a light day. But in, in a normal week, uh, we get uh, ten to fifteen orders. Uh, usually, most of it it's lasagna. Uh, the the salmon's actually picking up right now. Uh, yeah. Lots of people are ordering it. And the roast beef, uh, I found that it's for special occasions. Like Father's Day was our biggest roast, roast beef. beef day. Because yeah. oh, that's like beef, I guess. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there are definitely vegetarians or vegans. But Dia, um, what is your role in the business? My role in the business is marketing, logistics, uh, <laughs> logistics, logistics uh, marketing, um, advertising. Uh, advertising, social media management. Yeah, and okay. then I go do the shopping and everything. Yeah, and I order the, I order the the supplies. And I'm more of the kitchen guy. I do most of the stuff in the kitchen. I'm more of the management. Guy. And I uh, I do most of the portioning and the recipe designs. Okay. All right. So it's very clear whose division is what. I think yeah. that's <laughs> the main advice here for anyone who's like even business partners or just friends or couples have a designated area that you both decide to. Um, so walk yeah. us through your lasagna. I know that you said that this is your best seller. Yes. Okay, so what's the what? what? What's the question? Sorry. No, no. Walk us through what you're going to be assembling. Oh, yeah. Right now we're going we're just to be plating, it. plating the lasagna. Just for the, the beef? Sauce. Oh, just for the white sauce. Okay. So we have red sauce and white sauce in our lasagna. So our red sauce has beef. And then and uh, beef and spinach, and then the but, the uh, white sauce has uh basically the white sauce is a shiitake and it, the, it's a thicker bechamel yeah. that we infuse with uh, truffle oil and uh, assorted mushrooms. So that's our uh yeah people really thicker. like the mushrooms because they don't know what truffle tastes like and when they taste it like oh what's that oh, that's such a strange flavor I want more so they keep ordering. I did. Uh, there is this um, amazing like Instagram where he tries to do some mocks about uh, food and other, I guess, situations that are happening now. And one of the things he had was about truffle oil, um, yeah. doing like a video on how truffle oil talks to all the ingredients and says like, you know, when I come in the picture, you guys are done. Like the oh, all yeah. the flavors are, you know, I pretty much overpower a dish. In yeah, some like, in, in the bechamel, we, we put uh, shiitake mushrooms, like lots of it. And like just a little truffle almost cancels it out. So we have to be careful with the truffle because otherwise they can't taste the other ingredients. Yeah. So a couple of people have joined again. Uh, Piwi Philart Cruz says, Hi, Hi Dita. Yes, yes, Hi, Mama. Hi, Dita. Hello, Dita. Sarap daw. Sarap. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she tasted her food already. I wish I put an order through. This week, I'm not cooking or baking or learning anything. We're talking about oh, Gia and Pong and kind of walking through after you plate. Maybe we can look through your kitchen. Because yeah, sure. Well, the lasagna is in the oven. We can go around. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, other people have joined in. Detti, uh, Maroto. Hi, Gia and Marco. Rafael. Hi, Mam Detti. Hi, Mam Detti. Hi. Yeah. Uh, one question here is Luis del Rosario. Can you make a dish that's suitable for polio vegetarians like me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, um, uh, he's actually my friend. I've hey, actually, friend. I've actually done that for him because uh, <laughs> that my my friend, that friend of mine, doesn't really eat beef. Yeah. So when uh, we give him food or like when he orders, we yeah. try to um, accommodate him. We use usually chicken because he loves chicken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So right, we, uh, yeah, right now we have a vegetarian and then we have uh, beef lasagna, beef lasagna and vegetarian lasagna. Okay. So what we did was we just uh, added more spinach on the yeah. vegetarian and then uh, for the beef we just you know, beef and spinach. Yeah. So we just canceled out the beef. But sometimes some people ask for like a special request like can you add more of this, can you take out this. So we try our best to cater to everyone's dietary restrictions. I actually came from uh, what we do in Healthy One because uh, some of our clients really have strict 
dietary restrictions. It was so hard at first, but we got used to it to uh, conforming to their needs. So yeah. Yeah. What are the requirements for in healthy one? Like how many calories per meal? Oh, uh, we have. Uh, it starts from one thousand two hundred calories up to two two thousand five hundred calories. The two thousand five hundred calories mostly uh, bodybuilders okay. are the ones who. Uh, order it because I think they need the calories more. Yeah. Have you checked how many calories your lasagna is? Uh, no. <laughs> no. We, we actually don't want to check. We eat this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have still retained your uh, size or like physique because before uh, quarantine, a lot of people said that they have gained like 15 pounds or something. Oh, yeah. Uh, but it's okay. We love food as long as you're eating real and good food. I don't think there's any issue with um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I have to ask you about your time in CCA. Like, what yeah. was it like? Like, what did you learn? How? Yeah, what did you learn first off? Oh, uh, we learned a lot. I actually uh, before CCA, I haven't really cooked that much. Like, it was such a shock going into CCA. Like, oh, this is how a a real kitchen works. Like. It was super hard at first, but uh, we learned to love it. I learned to love it. For me, yeah. uh, for me, it's. I really wanted to do culinary arts since I was in grade school, yeah. so I was really happy that I was able to uh, study in CCA. And when I studied there, it's it was really helpful because it helped me to understand more what uh, about culinary. And then uh, about mid business. making a business, yeah. and then uh, how to handle the front the front line as well. Front of the house, front back of the, of the house, house, back of the house. So, menu design, yeah, Every, everything, everything, everything we, need, we need to know is actually was actually taught to us. So yeah. it's actually very good. Now we went to CCA. Like how to how to do costing and everything else. Like yeah. it was very it was very helpful. This is one of my questions for you because, um, you know, being in, especially now, a lot of people have lost their job. So they're really getting into food business. Besides the hard work in the kitchen, the production and managing, yeah. buying things, what is your, um, I guess, your principle in, in terms of costing or pricing? Like so, your margin for the product? Actually, right now, we are, costing is really, uh, how do you say it? It's it's lenient. We're not earning that much. We're actually focusing more on the flavor, really flavor of the food and the quality of the ingredients. Yeah. Because if if the food tastes good, people are gonna people are gonna order it again. Like if the food is cheap, but it's not really good, like it's like a one time thing. But we found most of our clients right now are repeat customers. Yeah. Mostly, uh, some of our clients order once a week or twice a week, like the same thing every week. So. We found out that like it's better to focus on quality first than to earn a uh, earn money. Yeah. No, yeah. for sure. I mean, it's the product that always stands out. But doing a bit of the numbers because you explained that sometimes you get fifteen orders for yeah. a yeah. weekend, right? So I mean, I want to show this um, photo that you did. Um, so here you've got basically lasagna for one thousand. So if you're selling fifteen, that's about um, fifteen thousand. Yeah. And minimum wage in the Philippines is about that, and shows you. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, it's it's okay. This is probably the first time you're doing live interview and prep, right? Sorry. Is this the first time you're doing a live interview and? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Just doing the math, like it's fifteen thousand, and minimum wage is about that for a yes. for a Filipino employee. And there is a lot of opportunity, and this is why we're doing this um, kind of program is to show people that there is opportunity in food. And a lot oh, of people, yeah. a lot of people don't know how to cook. I, your clients or the people that order with you, what are they? What's their background? Like, why do they order so regularly? Actually, um, some of our clients are actually, are yeah, most of uh, some of them are family, but some of them are actually good cooks. But uh, sometimes they they don't want to go through the hassle of making something because uh, there was this one friend of mine asked asked me how we make the the lasagna. 
And I told him all the steps and he was like, eh, ikaw na lang gumawa pre, parang ang hirap niyan. Because we actually do everything from scratch. Yeah. Uh, that's the key actually to the good taste. And like some people aren't really, um, they don't want to go through the effort. They just want to, they want a quick fast meal. So what better just to order na lang. Yeah. And they don't want to wash dishes. Yeah, they don't want to wash dishes. <laughs> Do you have any tips on washing dishes? Uh, uh, I know a lot of people don't know how. You've been uh, trained in CCA to wash a lot of dishes, right? We're actually, we're actually very, uh, we, we use the lazy method. So we soak them for about an hour in like soap and water, then rinse, then rinse again. Yeah. It's okay. easier than scrubbing it like uh, one at a time because sometimes the sauce sticks. Uh, we need to soak it first. And the sun is in Kamisano, the school. Oh, yeah. Every day, we wash all the time. Like it's it's muscle memory na like when when this pot is done, I have I wanna clean it nga agad eh, But yeah, <laughs> it was super ingrained in us to like uh, work clean always and always have your station clean. So yeah. the, the the sink is part of your station, so it has to be clean too. It's one of the feedback, uh, the most common feedback we would get from employers is that uh, with certain uh, CCA students, they do know the from the cleaning to the prep, the technical aspect, because you guys were used to it in school. Yeah. yeah. David. Um, I think the first level, if you do an event in school, they have to wash the dishes, right? Yeah, it's they like do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they have to wash the plates in level one. <laughs> but the initiation to CCA. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's an initiation exactly, and then you become part of the community, which I absolutely love, and I can see that like here, some people have joined in as well. Uh, I've got a couple questions for you guys. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, Jason Beltehar, I I think this is your friend. Yeah, it's my friend. Among the three dishes of PG Diaries, anong personal favorite nyo, Chef Pong, at Chichi? Oh. Uh, me, uh, I really, the roast beef. I really love the salmon. Like whenever, because of course we have to taste the food, except for the lasagna. The other dishes we actually taste a little bit, and I, that's the only thing I look forward to when I cook salmon. Like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna taste this in a while. Oh, I'm gonna taste this in a while. <laughs> I, I love it so much. For me, it's the roast beef because it's really juicy and really soft and so tender. Oh yeah. Because we sous vide it for. 10 to 14 hours. Yeah, but recently we've been doing 18. It's really, yeah, 18 really good. Hours, it's really, it's really, really tender. So everyone give it a go. Suviing and trying also salmon. Salmon. Um, this is actually Chef Jasper's advice to um, one of our batch right now for Food Entrepreneur Masterclass. He yeah. said, do something that you love. Because, you know, if you don't love the product, it's going to be hard to do it every day because you're going to do yeah. a lot of it. Like Miss Bea, if we really didn't like cooking, this is such a tedious, our dishes are so tedious to do. Like it takes us, uh, for, for one tray of lasagna, it usually takes us two to three hours and yeah. that's on a good day, that's on a fast day. Yeah. Like some people aren't, uh, if you don't like cooking, you're not going to invest your time. Like two hours, oh, I'd rather just sleep more or I'd rather... Oh, uh, just to play a game. Yeah. I have another question here. As a couple, what's the most challenging task you've experienced while working in the kitchen? Um, it's actually... No, it's not the face. It's more of... It's actually just the two of us working. Yeah, actually... Just that, that's the hardest part. Just the, just, just the two of us. So we have to do everything by ourselves. Like, we can't get help with the packaging. We can't get help with the market, with the buying of ingredients everything is ours so uh on this day is a good day because we only have two orders it's easy but uh on a on a full day it's gonna be so hard we barely talk to each other because we have to do it really fast yeah we have to do it really faster. fast yeah do you have days where you don't talk business oh yeah yeah like we, we find it important to to actually rest yeah because there was this one week we did seven days straight of cooking on the seventh day the food really didn't turn out the way we wanted yeah yeah so it's, it's, it's important to like recharge yeah 
another question, any tips for couples who are planning to start their own food business? I think uh, we have a lot of tips, but maybe you guys can round it up. Make sure you know what you're gonna do. Yeah, and, and actually, like, if you start a food business with your partner, it's actually a good test to see if you're actually compatible because like, like it or not, you're gonna fight in the kitchen. You're gonna have an argument. Like there's gonna be something that's gonna set you off. And if you can get through that, I guess you can get through anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I've been, I love the awkward laugh, uh, Gia. <laughs> but this is something I've been hearing about. Um, you know, there's a lot of dating sites, uh, dating apps out there. And then they were saying rather than just doing a swipe right or swipe left, is like, what if people that match on Tinder or Bumble or whatever you're using, yeah. is that you do learn a skill together. Because yeah. <laughs> that's, that's kind of like, a, it doesn't have to be cooking. It could be another skill. It could be sports, actually. But, yeah, sports. But in cooking, you're going to know straight, straight away if you're compatible. Because if you're not, you're... The first thing's gonna happen, you're gonna you're gonna bump into each other all the time, like on the stoves, on the prep area. If you don't know, yeah, what, if you don't know what, what you're doing. doing. Yeah, for sure. I hope that helps you, Louise. And maybe is this your friend? Uh, yeah. maybe he's starting a food business with his better half or something. Uh, he's actually <laughs> a, he's actually a uh an a social media influencer. And okay. he's actually very supportive of us. So yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Um, okay, what's next with the lasagna? Do we leave it uh, till you dispatch it, or we can put it in the oven? We can put it in the oven. I'm, I'm gonna just grate it. Oh yeah, okay. go for it. So I think your mom or one of uh, Miss Piwi says, "Place your orders here." Pizza <laughs> Diaries. Let's see that. Thanks, Mama. <laughs> I love how parents are very supportive in the CCA community. It's, it's something, you know, something special. I've interviewed a few students that have their own food business, and you always see their parents cheering them on. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're your first cheerleaders. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing our parents are supportive of our cooking, because it's not like the kitchen in our house uh, here. It's actually very busy because there are lots of people in the house. Like uh, we have lots of helpers and uh, lots of workers because there's usually construction around. So the kitchen's busy. So yeah, like if our parents weren't supportive, they wouldn't have really invested the time and the uh, the money to renovate the kitchen. Even the outside kitchen is getting renovated. So that's that's really good for us. So is this kitchen a communal kitchen or this is your territory? Um, I can't really say. Like, uh, <laughs> I want it to be a communal kitchen because it's yeah. so big. I don't want to hog all the space here. Like, other people can use it. I actually encourage the people in the house to use the kitchen because it's so nice. Like, it's such a nice place to be. It's yeah. very cozy. Yeah, it's very cozy. Like. Um, you can just, you can go here and not cook, you just go here and actually work or like play in the computer, watch TV. We have a TV here with Netflix, it's so fun. I do want to show a picture of your, um, your, uh, <laughs> kitchen. If we can max it out. There you go. It looks yeah. so beautiful. And I guess after you put the lasagna in the oven, I want to do a little bit of a tour of oh, yeah, your sure, kitchen. Sure and try to get some advice for people. Um, I know you designed this kitchen, so yeah. maybe some advice on someone designing. Is this the first kitchen that you've designed? Yes, actually. Uh, we weren't really planning on doing most of the designing, but it led to that because um, the architect of the kitchen is actually a good friend of my dad. So he was always around to oversee things and he always asked us, oh, what do you need? Oh, ano kailangan mo? Kailangan mo ba ng ganito? You need space here? How much counter space do you need? Like, it was so, uh, we were so, we weren't planning on being hands-on, but eventually we were actually looking for it. Like, we were actually looking for things to fix around the place. So, yeah. yeah. So this order, I have to ask, like, how many people would this be good for? About 10? Um, 
This is good for six to ten people or uh, or three hungry people. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a big, big. Uh, have a I have a friend who just live there. There's two at home, and then they finish the lasagna yeah. in one week. Okay, one week. I thought in one sitting, it's a lot. <laughs> there are people who do that. We had a we had a we had a client. We're four. They're four in the house, and then they finish it in one day. <laughs> yeah, but some people they actually uh, save it for the week. So like, they, I don't know, they save it so they don't order until the next week. But they do order. Yeah, I've got here another. Uh, uh, not really a question and then someone said Luis the Rosario said okay I'm on my way I'll make you guys some pancit canton <laughs> sprinkled with garlic powder um one question as chefs I hear a lot of chefs that they eat uh not so uh nutritious food do oh, you yeah. guys have your own junk food or is it pancit canton oh um, I like pancit canton she likes pancit canton I like uh, cheese dogs like cheese dog rice and egg I can eat that Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and midnight snack. Yeah. Like, Please start. Okay. Yeah, I basically eat uh, breakfast foods all day. So it's either tocino, cheese dog, longanisa, and rice and an egg. Uh, Bacon. It's the best thing. Yeah. It's something I hear all the time. Like some chefs, they make really good food, even like hotel chefs I meet, but they eat like instant noodle at night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason said, Bagoong daw ang favorite mo. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Only my friends know that because when we eat like kare kare or or something with bagoong, I actually just eat the bagoong sometimes. Yeah. But Have you ever tried to make your own? My mom gets mad at me because of it's really not healthy. It's a lot of salt. It's very salty. It's bad for your uric acid. Like my mom gets mad at me so much. Bad for my kidneys though. But it's so good. I, Is I your really mom don't. watching? I don't know. I think so. <laughs> I think so. She should be. Uh, someone said, "Are you going?" She said, "Are you going into offering desserts too?" Um, in the future. In the future. Yeah. In the future. Like either desserts or pastries. Like, I was actually thinking of making a tart, but I'm gonna let Gia do it because I'm really not a dessert person. I used to yeah. sell um cookies, like uh, around 2017. I used to sell cookies the for the that big. Everyone's been doing cookies. Yeah, I know, but I yeah. don't do it anymore. <laughs> but they're really good. What I've been seeing is a lot of kakanin. So people are selling um, oh, yeah. premium kakanin. <laughs> if I... Actually, uh, my mom actually ordered some for the house. Like, Gia, how was it? It's really good. Yeah, she was eating it before we were working. Like, hey, don't, don't they have to prep? No, this is really good. I have to eat it first. It's really good. It's, I don't know where it came from, but it's really good. What kind, of, what kind of kakanin? Uh, Suman? I think it's Suman. No, it's uh, Biko. Or yeah, yeah, it's, it's Biko. I don't know. <laughs> it was delicious then. Yeah, because it's a lost... Uh, not a lot of people know that we have so many varieties of kakanin, actually. Um, okay, a few people have joined in. Uh, Mary Ann Gasad Lee. Hi, Pong and Gia. I'm watching right now. That's, that's my mother. <laughs> Hi, Tita. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Tita. You guys are very clean. I ha I'm, I, I think the faculty or the teachers are impressed. Actually, um, we before we moved into this kitchen, we weren't really that tidy. But like when we moved into this kitchen, I wanted to keep it as tidy as possible because it's so nice. I don't want it dirty. Like, it's, yeah, it took a lot of time and effort to design and work on it. Like. Uh, the least we can do is preserve the cleanliness of it so it looks new always. Yeah. It is something yeah, like I... Yeah, go for it. And then we can do a little tour. Yep. Uh, I switch to the... The... No, no, the... No, no, here. Switch to the... the your phone here. Oh, my phone. So guys, for those that are watching, um, we do have this uh, weekly episode. So every Friday, we try to stick to a 10 a.m. Um, 
time uh, however it, sometimes there's time difference and so if you have a local like a small food business please do send us a message or you can make a comment right now and we will try to include you every friday um, usually you can show your product or teach me something something i don't know uh, <laughs> for this case i've decided not to cook and bake because so wana yung mga tao ma manood na kapalpakan so i'm gonna open sure uh we're just gonna switch to another camera so we can have a full tour of the kitchen i think the last few episodes i don't know if you've watched it we've done a mongolian bowl i think you're dialing in now one second there you go i will hide the other camera yeah okay there we are so the last few episodes we've done mongolian bowl we've done frosting um yeah so this one will do a kitchen tour so okay, just we, uh, tell yeah, everyone the camera. the camera okay uh so we start actually miss bay you want to start outside so it's nice yes yeah, start wherever you would like Wait a minute. One second. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here actually is the the kitchen, like the wide angle. Um, the the table, the countertop, this island, this big island, it's actually quartz because we chose quartz over marble because uh, it's less prone to bacteria and it's it actually really looks nice. Okay, uh, let's just move here. Like we have paintings around just to look at stuff. And here is our, on top is the uh, microwave. microwave. Yeah, it's the microwave. And on the bottom is a medio high capacity oven. Like before we can just put one tray at a time. Now we can put like, I think I can fit four in this. Yep. Yeah, and here, like while we're working, we actually have a really nice bay window with a nice view. So... You don't get tired of just chopping MD. onions all day. Yeah. yeah. I think everyone is getting kitchen envy right now. <laughs> I know chefs are used to a very cold, dark kitchen. You oh, know, yeah. Or you're stuck there for 12 to 16 hours or longer. For some yeah. people, 20 hours. Um, I've heard from the industry. But having that window does make a, a real difference. Yeah, like, like well, we were thinking when we were designing the the kitchen like oh, we're gonna be staying there for a, a long time so might as yeah. well make it a place that we want to be in yeah okay what's next what do we have okay. around the kitchen okay um this is our actually this is my favorite wall it has all the stuff we actually use all the stuff that's not all display like we have our mushrooms there our sugar our flour our pasta like plates these are the plates we actually use these are all our spices that we use for the kitchen these are my knives. Oh, our okay. knives, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, like we put really, uh, we put uh, so much thought into this, like the drawers, like most of it, yeah, sorry, it's kind of dirty. We just put them in. But most of the drawers were uh, selected by us, like here and here. I like do this. like this, yeah. That's my spice rack. And we have a drawer with all the equipment we use. So everything is within reach. Yeah, yeah. Everything's within there. It's like everything we need is here, and there's even a, a trash can. Yeah, a trash can here. Like it's it's a pull out trash can. And segregated. Is that? Yeah, <laughs> of course. Of course, this is one of the things I always mention about CCA students is that they always segregate. Um, yeah. In practice. Yeah. Yeah. Next is um. This is actually my dad's corner because he loves his uh whiskey. So okay. this is like his collection. This yeah. is wine chiller. And this is our fridge. We keep most of our stuff here. Like, it's so unnecessary. But my dad bought a, a like when you knock, it <laughs> shows a light. It's so unnecessary, but it's so cool at the same time. What? Okay, so you knock and you see inside. Okay. Yeah. So you can see like, oh, I'm gonna get something like juice in Canada Dry or something. Yeah. <laughs> it does keep the temperature at a certain level. So yeah. rather than opening it. Uh, countless times and oh yeah 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 it's it, yeah. it keeps the temperature better so yeah well, let's move on this is actually our cleaning station our dirty kitchen 
Yeah. So it's kind of dirty now because we haven't actually started cleaning. Yeah. And this is the that's another freezer because we have lots of uh, food, not just for us, this is for the house, like for everyone around the house. Uh, yeah, these are our extra equipment, like plates go and uh, plates and bowls go there. There's a lot of space. Yeah, it's a lot of space. Like, yeah, equipment goes there. Yeah, we haven't actually finished putting everything together. Because uh, you just there, moved. Like, there are stuff there. This yeah, kitchen like, just finished this week or a week ago? Oh yeah, it just finished this Monday. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Like, it Thank was you so much. Like Monday lang. And here, uh, here is our pantry. It's a walk-in pantry. Wow. Like here, like our stuff, and we put a hook so our aprons are there. So we don't have to bring it up or it's like, messy. Yeah, it's kind of messy now. We have like okay. <laughs> to And uh, the, for some reason, there, uh, my dad wanted like a pet or like a centerpiece for the for the <laughs> kitchen. So I actually, I'm a, I'm a I'm a pet lover. So okay, I actually have a chameleon right here. Wow. Uh, okay. His name is Django. I love him so much. <laughs> Yeah, it's so great. he's our pet. Like, he just stays there and looks, at, uh, like watches us cook every day. He's yeah. So he's now. he's super used to us now. So yeah, that's actually the center object because um, structurally we couldn't demolish the this post. Okay. So we just found a way to put something in it. Wow. Okay, that is a very interesting use of space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have lots of animals around the the house. The house so yeah. why not put one in the kitchen? Like. It's uh, I'm I made sure it's uh, it's sanitary because the the opening of the cage is actually far from the the stove area or where we cook and yeah I make sure to clean that every day. Okay. So yeah, that's our kitchen. So I hope that gives everyone a lot of kitchen envy, especially the ones that are renovating their kitchen or are thinking of it. I think this is a no better time than to do it. So basically from what I heard, use quartz, yeah. um, uh, have everything at reach, yes. yeah. have some storage, keep it sanitary. Is there anything else I've missed? I, I guess like, because um, we cook a lot of savory things, so... Uh, we built, uh, we designed the kitchen in the uh, in that that in mind. Like, but if you're into pastries, like this, if we were into pastries, this kitchen would look totally different. Yeah. For the yeah. table, that's good for. Yeah, yeah. Actually, quartz is good for baking and Red like. Baking. Uh, yeah, yeah. For that, for pastries, because it's cold always. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much for giving us a little bit of a tour. Um, I think we'll wrap up a bit with a few more questions that I have. It's called uh, Quick Fire Questions, sure. which is basically just um, answering without explanation. You can if you want to. But yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. We'll do it in the view para. Uh, refreshing on a Friday. So thank you for everyone joining us. If you have any questions on kitchens, um, even quick fire questions, please send it now. Um, okay, my question is, who's better with money matters? Her. Me. Her. <laughs> okay, who's the creative one? Me. Him. I think. Yeah, me. <laughs> okay. What do you love about each other? Everything. Yeah, same answer. <laughs> <laughs> What irks you about each other or what annoys you about each other? When he gets mad. She snores. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> Those are very tiny things, which is a good start for you guys being in business. Uh, lastly, is customer is always right, true or false? True. Uh, Sometimes. Mm. With exceptions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, all right. So that's pretty much the roundup for this kitchen stories. Um, again, thank you so much, Pong and G Gia, uh, for showing us around. And I wish you more orders. Um, so for people that want to order or keep in touch with you, how do they do this? Just contact us on Facebook or in or Instagram. Or you can just, if you know us, just contact us yeah, just on directly. I might, like, if usually for my friends, we add a bit of something. Yeah. Like we add a bit more sauce, a bit more. Uh, if they request it, like not yeah. not just for my friends, but for everyone who orders. Like, if you request something and we can do it, we'll probably do it for you. Yeah. So our 
our Facebook and IG username is pg.diary. So yeah. PG and then period and then diary. Okay, so please do. I will order a lasagna for sure. Maybe let me know. So you take orders every day or just for the weekends? Um, um, it depends on when uh, they want to order it. We usually have like, right now we have a one day or two day break. Yeah. Like it depends on what day of the week doesn't have much orders. We're going to make that our day off. But yeah, yeah. we work the all week round. So guys, please do order lasagna. It is a lot of uh, time and love to do from scratch. So if you're feeling really lazy and you just want to drink wine with your <laughs> lasagna, just order yes. from them. Yeah. Um, it looks really delicious. And then for the, I think you had someone who just eats chicken and fish or um, yeah, you can lasagna actually, lasagna. It's actually that. Oh, oh wow, perfect. Maybe we can see one. Okay. Before oh, yeah, we, sure, sure. We'll transfer to the laptop if that's okay. Yeah, sure. So for those people that want to keep in touch with us uh, for CCA, um, you can uh, head to our website, cca-manila.edu.ph, um, and you can contact us at talk to us at cca-manila.edu.ph. So there you go. Um, we will switch the camera so you can see one last thing, which is the lasagna. And then we will wrap up to the weekend. I wish I ordered for this show. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, Miss Bella, can we show how we finish the lasagna? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, so, uh, uh, yeah, it's the beef one. So, what we first do is like, after we take it out, we drizzle a bit of extra. This is truffle oil. Like, this is legit truffle oil. We just. Uh, we just drizzle a bit of truffle oil just to when people open the the tray that, that's the first thing that hits their nose it's it's really good and the next thing the next thing we do is we actually torch it like we chose torching over just leaving it in the oven because the torching leaves a more of a Maillard effect taste like it's a different flavor it, it adds to the layers of flavor yeah it's actually a handy little tool to have at home to impress the uh, guests. Oh yeah, this is this is a showstopper. Like, if I can torch anything, I would like. If I can torch hot dogs, I would just torch hot dogs because it just looks cooler. Yeah, it's like uh, Uber right now. It's everywhere, so it's like, you know, there are certain things that it can go overboard. But this is one of the uh, cases where it's delicious. So oh just yeah. Like, So yeah, after that's nice and torched, we just uh, add a we add another layer of Parmesan cheese on it. We need more cheese. Yeah, more cheese, more more everything. More is good. It's very cheesy. Like we're very generous with our servings of stuff. That's why I think most of our clients uh, order back uh, order from us again because of. Yeah. It's just a lot for for the money you're getting, uh, you're giving us. You're getting a lot back. And we finish with some uh, dried parsley. Oops, sorry. I think you're excited to this, dispatch this order. <laughs> so I am very, very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you have successfully made me hungry for this uh for this week's show. And again, thank you so much. And whoever is your customer here will be enjoying that order. Oh, yeah. um, thank you everyone that has that has like joined us today. Um, Dan Aragon says, Ganda talaga ng kitchen. Uh, Luis Del Rosario said, okay, now I know the amount of cheese you put in your lasagna. So for those <laughs> that are calorie counting, please do not count this. Um, <laughs> Vicky Abelio, wow, okay, I want lasagna again. So everyone, order from PG Diaries on Facebook and Instagram. And please support local businesses and couples yeah. that are in business. I think it's great, um, especially given the time that everyone is trying to make just uh, income, like improve their income. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, take care. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your lasagna. Or <laughs> enjoy it. I have some in the fridge so we can just heat it up. It's better the next day. Anyway. Yeah, it's actually better the next day. Oh, pasta, lasagna, anything that takes time, it's just better. So, yeah. again, 
Thank you for touring us your kitchen. Um, no no problem. Problem. Thank you for featuring us. Thank you. Yeah. Anytime, anytime. So there, Dan, Aragon, let's finish it off by saying yummy. So <laughs> take care, everyone, and see you again next weekend. Bye-bye.